I've been busy. Little bits of brass in there. And that is what these are. And that worked out great. I got brass strips in there now. And it moves so nice. Like no play either. I replaced all my my little set you okay cat? My little set screws for these little nylon lock nuts. All three of these. All three of these. And then underneath there, those are all nylon too. Six millimeter. And then I did all the ones on my mill too. I tell you what, it is solid here. Let me unlock my axes. I don't know why they're locked. But this very little backlash no slop it's just so nice I love it when things are freshly adjusted like I can part with this sucker now and I couldn't part with it before at least not to where it wasn't like somewhat scary it's not too scary anymore um happy with it I'm gonna replace my knobs here I'm in the process of doing that right now because I'm just looking for busy work um here's a new one it's already drilled out. I gotta countersink that though. I'm kind of wanting to make that little knuckle du uh, buster right there a little bit. Um, I want to recess it, and then I'm gonna drill a off-center hole there and th thread it or tap it, you know, and then put like a bolt and then maybe a sleeve of aluminum. I'm thinking about putting a ball bearing in there since I I use this one so much. You know, I mean, right now it's just all the slickness of the handle but when I got a ball bearing in there I mean I'm sure that'll smooth things up a little bit I'm gonna do the same thing here this one's a bit smaller these are these holes are eight millimeters and well being in the United States metric drill bits are not easy to get here I'm gonna kill that so my dad when he passed away left me a very large collection of completely unsorted drill bits. They're just basically in a big box. I mean, an asinine amount of drill bits. I'm so set on drill bits. I mean, I've got the normal ones I use. Here's my here's the index I made out of a two by four. Let's see, it gets use. <laughs> Greasy thumbprints. And it's just got the standard sizes. I don't know if that's going to pick that up, but they're standard. You know, standard fractional. I didn't have any um, metric that I knew of, or numbered, or lettered. So um, what I did was I took this little um, micrometer my son got me, or got us, actually, everything's for us. And I went through every single drill bit in the collection. Some three up to three times just to be damn sure because I was so tired I spent 11 hours on this no exaggeration <clears throat> God, you'd swear I was hooked on meth and I'm not and here's what I did with them I take up less space now too they're all organized I know what I've got I know what sizes I have available to me I know what size holes I can make which is pretty sweet and I got almost full set of lettered I have almost a full set of numbered as well I got 1 through 60 and I'm missing I think seven, number 17 and number 30 something I know this is boring as shit to most people sometimes it's even boring to me but it isn't right now I just got done doing this job and I'm proud of it and um 39 got all my little bitty ones too so if we want to I'm not sure if we're going to go small enough for jetting, but I think that's what we're going to try to do, is drill out our own jets until we find something optimal on our bikes. So yeah, yeah we just got this crazy collection of drill bits. These are, what do we go up to, 15 point, oh yeah, I organized them all by their metric size, plus I included their fractional size, if they're fractional or their letter or whatever. So we go up to like 15.8 
7.5 millimeters in drill bits. I actually own a 1 and 3 8 inch bit. That's how high we go. And we got some silver and demings, but as far as like the ones we have bulk, so 15.875 all the way down to 15.875. A number 58, which is 1.046. That's awesome having these things all organized. So before, when I was going to drill and tap aluminum, I've been using a 732 fractional, which is you know ideal for steels or harder metals. I did not have the size, I think it's a 7, a number 7. I can't remember if it's a 7 or an F. What do I have up there on the chart? Because I actually have a freaking chart. Quarter 20. Yeah, it takes a number 7. Anyway, I didn't have a 7 before. Well, now I've got multiple 7s. And I know for sure that they're 7s. And they're slightly... What I did was I... If you use a micrometer you, and you go four digits out on, on you know, basically millimeters, you're going to find deviation in every single drill bit unless you you got some... If you're in case you're lucky or whatever, but um, but yeah, there's deviation in all of them. So what I did was, if it was equal to or slightly less than, as far down as the next part, that's what I what I'd categorize it as. So anyway, here's this is number seven. It may be right on, but chances are it's slightly under as far as size goes, which is okay with what I'm going to be using that for. That's aluminum. So there we go.